Hello everyone, I'm MC Art Guy, and welcome to today's video. So, some of you may have heard of some people using AI to create images and artwork from text. And I've been reading some articles about this, and I recently saw Jazz's video using Doll E3. And this is a very popular program that people have been using. But when I researched it, I saw that there's this waiting list or something to access it, and I just didn't want to deal with that, okay? So I just googled websites until I came up with this, and this website is called Deep AI. Now this poses a question. We can use AI to create images and art in 5 seconds, and it would take an actual artist maybe 5 hours to create the same image by hand. So this all leaves me wondering, will artists become obsolete as AI develops and evolves? Stay tuned to find out what I think. So to start experimenting with AI, I just decided to see how it would interpret my character Oswald. And he's a blue goose that I made in a video a while ago. So I typed in blue goose and this is what it came up with. I can see what it was going for, but I tried being more specific with no such luck. And then I tried an even more specific search term with some luck. The next character of mine I had to interpret was blue bear. And this is what it came up with. Then I wanted to see if it knew celebrities, so I typed in... And it definitely took pictures of her from the internet, because the outfits that she's wearing are things that she's worn in real life, or it looks similar to what she's worn in real life. But why is her face like that? That is... That is both horrifying and hilarious at the same time. Ugh. So then I wanted to see AI's fan art, and let's focus on this one specifically. It took the glasses aspect from the You Belong With Me music video, and she has the same hairstyle and outfit from that era when Fearless came out. You know what, I feel like this video is just exposing me as a Swifty. Anyway, I wanted to see what AI's concept of people was, and I don't know what the heck this is, and I'm a bit scared to be honest, it's truly disturbing. And then I typed in people, and I guess two of the results kind of make sense. So then I wanted to see what AI thought a male and female face looked like, and good luck getting those images out of your head. <laughs> then I started to ask it to come up with some artsy-fartsy images, and I did a very detailed description, and this is what it came up with. Then I asked it to generate an image of a duckling and just... <laughs> AI to generate a painting with a description of how I painted the cover of my sketchbook, but I forgot to type painting, so here's some air quotes realistic images. And then I typed in painting, and this is a painting of that prompt. And it's not even a duck, but okay, I guess I guess this one's nice. I asked AI to generate images of the beloved children's character Winnie the Pooh. Close enough. So up to this point, I'm noticing that AI is having a really hard time creating like realistic looking faces and just there are a couple mutations going on with um, some of the images that were being shown. I don't know. But the images, there are parts of it that do look realistic. It needs a little bit of work, but just the one thing I notice is that it's having a really hard time doing faces. So now you're going to see some screenshots that I have, and these screenshots are starting off with just some basic prompts that I asked AI, and then I went to some more like higher level thinking, just things that you would have to interpret, and I just wanted to see the AI's thought process for this and how it would figure it out, so that's what's going to be on screen. So while this was all in good fun, we still haven't answered this important question. Will we, as artists, become obsolete with the rise of AI-generated images? Maybe. Because 
No one can see the future, unless you're psychic or something, and that's cool if you are. But personally, I don't think AI is developed enough to create clean, hyper-realistic, convincing images with human emotional connections. They can sure try, but nothing will ever truly replace the human experience and range of emotions. What we can use AI for is to jumpstart our ideation process. It can give us new ideas we didn't even think of before. So while I'm still a bit uncertain about the rapid development of AI, I do look forward to the new possibilities it will provide for us as a society. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.